How do you condense nine years of a relationship into a short story? We're gonna find out. This is Justin. This is Joy. And, and we're, we're the, the Love Jays. <laughs> The worst argument we've had is a continuous, ongoing argument that we have every week, and it is Joy's cleanliness. I'm More clean. importantly, I'm clean. I'm messy. Yes. Joy has this horrible habit, horrible, of not putting shit back. You guys live with anyone like that who just doesn't put shit back? Take it out, throw it on the floor, and act like it's not there. This one, all the time. But I just, I reached the boiling point, and I went and I told Joy and said, something has to change. The first step to solving an argument is filling your feelings. It's so important to identify what you're feeling and then live in those feelings for a little bit. But it's like, if you're mad, feel that you're mad. If you're sad, feel that you're sad and then try to uncover, well, why am I sad? Is it because of this a specific point that she mentioned or it's he mentioned? It's never the actual argument that you're mad about. There's often a root cause. There's something else that's the real issue. Try to get down to that. I remember when we got into an argument and I was talking about cleanliness and then it opened up a whole nother avenue about how I was feeling when I wanted to go overseas and I felt like she wasn't supporting me. Like I picked something up from four <laughs> years ago that was tied into this cleanliness that reappeared. So it's important when you just sit here and decide, okay, what am I holding on to? You find that root cause and then you guys have to actively talk yeah, about and create solutions. Right, and don't be so focused on your point in the argument. I think that's another important step is that oftentimes, yes, feel your feelings, but we get too caught up in just our feelings. Of and course. we don't really hear, all we hear is how that person was attacking us, but not what they were that, really trying to but say. But that's why you have to take time. Yeah, and I think too, if you've done all those, taken care of all those steps, you figured out what your root problem is and they figured out what their root problem is and you still want to be together but you can't quite figure out how to solve what the issue is, then you go seek professional help. Definitely go to couple therapy. That's it. And don't be ashamed. It's okay to get help. Especially in the black community. Like, yeah. you say therapy to black folks, like, hell no, my shit is <laughs> yeah. fine. I don't yeah, need to shrink. Like, I'll just go to church. Yeah. And, and, and church is important too. Yeah, but, but that, sometimes you just yeah. need an outsider's opinion. Yeah. You I need don't, a professional. Yeah, opinion. You, Somebody who can help you hash things out on a level field and can help you really work through them so that you guys And they're not bringing their own bias right. into the relationship. It's like, okay, well, this is what you're saying. This doesn't make sense. This is what you're saying. This doesn't make sense. Let's work towards a solution. Right.